Day of demolition arrived today for the Great Northern Grain Elevator on Buffalo's waterfront. Wrecking crews started tearing it down less than 24 hours after a judge finally cleared the way for them to start. Channel 2's Dave McKinley has been watching throughout the day and joins us live now from Ganson Street with more on what's going on there. Hi, Dave. Hi there, Kate. You know, Archer Daniels Midland, which owns this building, which actually hasn't functioned as a grain elevator for 40 years, has rejected at least one offer from a developer to buy it and another by preservationists to take over the building and at least maintain it. Barring any more legal intervention, it's going to take several months to tear it down. So far, it's primarily being done with a single piece of equipment, a large mechanical arm with a pinching claw on the end of it, reaching through the gaping hole left as a result of a windstorm last December. It tears off sections of welded steel from the former grain silos within. Taking it all in and with much displeasure, preservationists who fought a protracted yet unsuccessful legal battle to keep this from taking place, but they've not yet given up and hope to take another crack at things in court. The Common Council created this as a landmark in 1990. That means that there's a public interest in preserving these buildings. Special effort must be made. No effort was made to save this. In fact, the city rushed to judgment, panicked, and issued an emergency demolition order, which is what ADM has wanted for 30 years. ADM sought that emergency demolition, saying the building was dangerous after the windstorm blew out a large section of its northern wall. Preservationists who contested that pointed out today that some 10 months later, it somehow never fell down and still has it, despite the deconstruction that occurred today. Of course, even if they get uh, a judge to another judge to intervene and halt the demolition, their desire to save it and restore it, how realistic is that now? Uh, is it totally out of the question for them to undo the damage that's already been done today? They say you'd be surprised. We'll talk more about that coming up at right, live. Look Reporting to that. live on Ganson Street, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News. Looking forward to it, Dave. Thank you.